There has been a rise of AI generated Roblox games that if you try searching for one, you realize they are very common, just like furious kids on Twitter disapproving and boycotting such games. But are these games actually that bad? So to find out, I'm playing as many AI generated games as I can in the next 24 hours. Okay, Bayside High School with a very AI generated thumbnail over here. Um, you see, developers will provide a descriptive prompt to instantly get AI generated Roblox images and upload them to their games. Now we need to find out if the games themselves are good or not. And so, I joined Bayside High School and was immediately greeted by some interesting players with names like Has Anger Issues, Calm, Cool, and I don't know what more. How can you be calm and have anger issues at the same time? Are, are you okay? Because it was apparently 2 in the morning, I had to do some waiting. Which is when I met this player, Say, Don't tell me what to do. No, I'll tell you what to do. Cause yes, girl what? Okay. I don't know what I'm supposed to do while waiting, so I'll just grab a vehicle, get inside. <laughs> oh my gosh, girl, what the heck? Stop running me over, nah. Let's go take you to the ice cream store. Oh shoot, Lord help me. Hashtag, hashtag. Yeah, these are the people who play this game, but things can't possibly get worse. Oh no, wait a minute. This is definitely not from some other popular game. Okay, but I'm sure the AI generated games we'll play later will get better, yeah? Anyways, I went to a history class and when I got there, there's homework? There's actually homework! How do you get a great B? Wait, hold up. No, I'm doing it again. A plus! Yes, okay, I got it. Okay. You may be thinking this AI generated game isn't that bad until you go to your next class to take homework and realize it's the same questions. What? Turn in. A plus. Yeah, I definitely did not just Google like one of the questions. There was really nothing much to do other than running over players, but I soon got a report card and how did I get how did I basically fail all the subjects when I literally got A plus for both of I am so confused by this game. Yeah, so this game is literally bad. Now you may be wondering how playing AI generated games for 24 hours figure out if they are good or not. Which is why I came up with this. So after every game, we are going to rate it and at the end, we are going to total up all the ratings and we are going to answer the question with that. I'll give this like a 2 stars because it is basically a Brookhaven copy, a Liftopia copy. There's nothing you can do other than run people over with cars. Okay, we have a lot more games to go, so... This next game is a bit special because while it doesn't have an AI generated icon and thumbnail, the game is based off AI. So supposedly this game is supposed to generate any avatar that you want if you write it down here. Try typing which, okay. Oh dang, okay, that's actually not bad. Um, if I create again. Oh wow, okay, actually this, this AI is actually quite good. Oh wow, um, I don't think that is the, the prompt. Um, we can also go up to these like items here and we can just activate them and we can get a random avatar by these items. This guy was really the limit here. Okay, let's do nerd. Oh, that is that is definitely that is definitely one. Like, what if you typed in frog? Oh, hey, that's not that's not bad. That's actually not bad. Oh, how about asking for a bird? Do a li or using a popular game as the prop. Oh gosh, is that seek and figure combined? Um, uh, what is this? I am an actual door. This AI generated game was unstoppable. Chat GPT. What if you just type that? No results. How can he not have any results for its own program? Yeah, so I take that back. I think I'm gonna give this like a good, oh, oh gosh, a good three stars. And look, I know the game is really good. I, I It is good, but it gets boring really quickly and there's nothing else to do. So it's staying at three stars, all right? However, the next AI generated game might be one of the worst ones ever, Dick to Win Simulator. Minecraft TNT with AI generated Roblox character? Uh, but that isn't even the worrying part. Oh no, what is this? Oh no, oh no. So you just drop a bomb, okay? Wow. We going down. Oh, what? Uh huh. I don't think we're supposed to see outside the map. The gameplay loop was basically digging a hole, buying and hatching pets, unlocking and buying bombs, hatching even more pets, continue digging holes, and repeating the cycle infinitely. 
So that's what I did for quite some time until okay, uh, next zone. All right, bye. Oh my gosh, why are there so many pets? It was at this point I realized two things. First of all, aren't these just stolen Minecraft textures? Like, and secondly, they added an auto dig feature such that people can just AFK in this game and then premium payouts to just give throwbacks to the developers. Like, why? The, the, uh. This AI generated game was clearly made as a cash grab. Hopefully, the games later won't become any worse. After some more grinding, I managed to get to the next area and you know what I did? I AFK grinded. Okay, I've been here for quite a while now. Okay, so I definitely didn't just AFK grind. Um, hmm, yeah. So I'm just gonna go here and like buy this and we're just gonna skip. Is it actually that expensive? So you're telling me that after 2 hours of grinding, I still can't go to the next area. Okay, so here we are again. Uh, 1 star. Yeah, I think it's very obvious because um, it, it's a cash grab. Yeah. Honestly, looking at the ratings here, it doesn't seem very good for the games right now. And it definitely doesn't after checking out the next game, Lua Learning, with an AI generated thumbnail. Something isn't right here. Um, but despite this, you wanna guess what's so weird about this game? You wanna guess? It's a Bloxy award winner for most educational game. Yeah, Roblox gave an AI generated game a Bloxy award. So I don't know how good this game is, but we'll see. What? Isn't this just a death forum? Um, wait, what? After navigating a bit and clicking around. Oh, what? Oh, okay. Hold on, wait, am I coding? Yeah, so this game is literally about coding. There, there's a function. Do I just copy that? Player dot move forward. Uh, run. Oh, this activity requires you to use code to move your character and complete given tasks. Get the flag. What flag? I don't see a flag. Um, luckily, I had prior knowledge to coding, so the activities were a piece of cake. Oh wow, there's actually a lot of tutorials here, oh my gosh. Apparently, there's even guides on how to code in Roblox Studio, which honestly are really good. But you know what isn't good? This maze activity, which although isn't hard, is very tedious. Uh, what? Uh, what, what, what is going on? Okay, this should work. Oh my gosh. Never mind, I immediately killed myself. I fixed and ran the code again, and after minutes of my character inching its way through, are you kidding me? I messed up something. Despite the game having an AI generated icon and thumbnail, I think the game's actually quite good, not gonna lie. Okay, and just for that, I'm gonna give this a 4 stars. This list over here looks so much better with just a higher rating. Now, I wasn't looking forward to playing this AI generated game as it was another simulator. And if you recall Dig to Win Simulator, it was given a 1 star. But as much as I didn't want to, I hesitantly joined the game. Okay, not a bad intro screen. Okay, uh, company name and what does the company do? Um, honestly, I have no idea. Alright, there we go, okay. Oh wow, there's a story mode? Oh my gosh, wow. Oh wow, uh, I, I thought this was a simulator. Wait, what? Why are you sleeping again? You are useless. Work overtime again or I'll, I will fire you. What? I've been working for weeks, I need my rest. Do I look like I care? And you dare talk back? Any last words? Five more minutes, please? Oh my gosh! I thought this was a simulator, wait. Oh my- uh, Okay, um, sure. We'll go here, I guess. After buying an office- Oh wow, okay, that's- that is amazing. I started grinding out this game. Oh, we- oh, we have spam clicks, spam clicks. Okay, great. Um, Sure, that works. Wait, so what is stopping me from, you know, using this? Uh, um... Oh, we need to clean stuff and stuff. Oh, what? That, that's a lot of stuff to upgrade. There's a lot to unpack here, but basically, you spam your mouse for money, level up and buy upgrades to earn even more money, repeat this process over and over, get sick of clicking so you hire NPCs to help only you, to forget to pay your tax, so you buy and 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 I did spend quite some time finding one of these reactors, but once I spotted one, I didn't really know what to do or how to destroy it. So will we ever find out what happens to the X-Boss? 
Probably not. Because this simulator is like a story mode based simulator, I'm gonna give it a 4 stars. Yeah, uh, um, you're gonna hear this for the first time, we're giving a simulator a good rating. Now you may recognize this AI generated game, Maple Hospital. Okay, first of all, free cam! We have free cam! Oh my gosh, isn't that so cool? Now at a glance, the icon and thumbnails don't look AI generated, but the developers have actually confirmed that they use AI. Surely it doesn't make the game bad, right? Oh wait, hold up, isn't this like Brookhaven? Um, okay, so... There's people literally working here and they're taking it so seriously. I then got distracted with free cam and saw this. Oh wait, there's a helicopter over here, hold up. I wanna see if we can get up there. I took an elevator up to the highest floor and it didn't take long before. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I should have at least saw this coming. Now you see, since these players are so diligent, I thought I should go in as a patient and simply tell them Help me This person went AFK It's fine though because this person was definitely being careful when moving me to another room There is some I was then brought into a room when suddenly this doctor who we'll just call Alex decided that I for some reason need to go to a different yet identical room and watch what happens to them Um, what? What, what, what? Huh? Wait, what? Oh gosh! I, I, I think they need to be the patient now. And now Alex wants me to move a second time into a surgery room. And you know what they do next? Perform surgery by playing with syringes and scissors. Yeah, I'm just wishing that this sort of thing won't happen ever again. You good? You good? You good? Hello? Yeah, Alex seemed like they just randomly went AFK. This person's just standing there absolutely doing nothing now. I'm just gonna, um, you know, do this. Yeah. Okay, so honestly, that was kinda just like Bayside, except instead of a school, it's just a hospital. So, uh, you're getting a 2 stars at max. You might be thinking that things can't get worse for these AI generated games, right? Well, that's what I thought until I played Retail Tycoon 2 with an AI generated icon. Would you like to go through a tutorial? Sure. The gameplay loop was basically building shelves, driving off to some loading dock, talk to an NPC to buy goods, load the goods and bring them back to your store, and load the goods so you can stock the shelves and actually run the store, only for the NPCs to be complaining. You want a basket? Why do you want a basket? Why? And if that wasn't enough, these bots were just extremely greedy and have like horrible myopia. What do you mean the store is awful? What? It's right here. What do you mean? What is this? Um, yeah, that those are totally chips. I just got really bored and wanted to check on the other players. This person is just AFK. Uh, I am gonna do them a favor. There's so much litter. Why? This is a mess. If anyone is going shopping, do not look for someone wearing a purple cone. But other than that, I really had nothing much to do. This game had only met basic tycoon standards and I just wanted to leave. I'm very like stamped on what to do, like look at my store, it's so, um, you can't even put it into words on how amazing it is. Yeah, honestly, it's just like a regular tycoon, so, um, one star. This is the second time I've gave a one star. It's not looking good for these AI generated games. Fortunately, things would take a turn as I played Math Obby. Now you may be thinking, what is wrong with this game? This thumbnail looks completely fine, but if you look at the icon, <laughs> yeah, I joined the game and was soon greeted with portals that were each to sign a math operation. So I went into the first one and saw this. What's 2 plus 2? Oh, 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 no, yeah, it's 5. You know, it's 5. Oh, no, I, I wonder why isn't it 5? Maybe it's 8. Um, wait, no, it isn't 8? Wait, you mean 2 plus 2 is 4? Um... Uh... Uh, well, um, wow, I wonder what is 7 plus 4. It, it has to be 3, right? After being very unfunny, I breezed my way through the parkour. Oh wow, that was easy. <laughs> okay. The second portal wasn't a problem until I met this player, Dame. Do it, do it. Are you kidding me? Come on, solve the question. How do you get 21? Dave was really squeezing his brain to solve basic math equations. We get to see in real time how these players are solving math questions. Wow, they finally got a question correct. No way, oh my gosh. Okay, let's do multiplication. I'm not gonna go through this yet because I'm gonna wait for this bacon here and we're gonna see how they try to solve the question. 
They got it correct. Oh my gosh. Wow, this person actually has a brain cell. Never mind, I take that back. <laughs> this is the hardest question ever. I jumped into the fourth pocket and look who showed up. Wow, I really couldn't tell if they were struggling or if they were just trolling. Look, I'll saw right now, okay? 45. Go to 45. Oh my gosh. Wait, wait, wait what? I don't know how they're even playing Roblox if they cannot even answer basic math questions. Okay, final question. You cannot get this wrong. If you get it wrong, you're stupid. We can confirm that they are kind of stupid. Honestly, it's quite funny just seeing players fail in math, so I'll give that to the obby. Okay, just for that, um, you get 4 stars. I think the math stuff with the obby is actually quite cool. The next game we're playing is called Moderator Life. The fingers just look so weird, like, oh gosh. If you haven't realized what this game's about, I'll let my gameplay speak for itself. Okay, we're in the game immediately. Oh wow, um, okay, let's just go. Oh wow, um, chat? Is it, isn't this just Discord? That's Discord, oh my gosh. I hate the moderators, okay, delete this. Okay, there we go. Okay, look, I'm very sure it's way better to join a real community like my Discord server than to participate in a fake group chat in a blog game. After moderating a few messages, I decided that I'm gonna leave here and we're gonna go outside, how about that? Yep, touch grass, <laughs> wow. Okay, I like how that's a badge, okay. I eventually went back in to continue grinding this game. But while clicking random buttons here and there... Wait, hold up. Wait, what? Bruh, even the game passes are AI generated icons. Like, oh shoot. Wait, what? Now, fortunately, other than the whole fake Discord aspect, this game does consider your own sanity. Oh gosh, no, no, no. Okay, sleep. Alright, there we go. Oh, we need food and water. Uh, after ordering and probably receiving the most unhealthier stuff. Oh gosh, no. No, why is the power out? I can't see. I could tell that this game was really trying to make things realistic. But if it really was, then I don't think this should be happening. Uh, that is, uh, that is a very nice terrain right there. Yeah. Yeah, this game is, um, interesting to say the least. Um, okay, yeah, um, that game was just straight up, like, weird, so I'm giving it a one star. A game about moderation in Discord? Like, oh my gosh. This was really bad. A glance at this list didn't look good for the AI generated games. And with not much time left, I could only play one final game. If AI generated games wanted to redeem themselves, then Paragon was their only hope. Whoa! Oh, um, wait, whoa, there's so many characters. Oh, what? Okay, we'll use this, I guess. Whoa, uh, FPS game? Uh, what? The first thing I noticed were these gun crates that costed in-game coins. 27 mobs, uh, oh, wait. Toilets! Oh, gosh. There we go, okay. Oh my gosh, what? Crawling zombie. Oh, gosh, uh, X. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Oh my gosh! Remember the characters I got to choose from earlier? Well, they each have their own special abilities. Oh my gosh! That is so cool! Okay, let me use this thing, let me use this thing. Punisher? Oh, that is so cool! What? Not only were the weapons really good, but even the enemies! Oh, what? Pop the balloon! Oh, no, no, no! Increases fire rate! Uh, sure. I have to admit, the abilities were quite overpowered. Um, Open this, open this. Get out, get out, get out. Give me this. Oh my gosh. Please die, please die, please die. There we go. Okay, I mean, have you ever seen a Roblox game where you can literally use magic in FPS or use a lava powered rifle? Oh my gosh. This is like zombie rush, but arsenal. Like, it's actually, this is actually so cool. Oh my gosh. We can upgrade this. Oh wow, okay, that's so cool. After playing for a bit, I'm gonna try a new character, alright? Okay, so if I do Q and do this, oh, I can instantly kill them. Okay, here's what I do. I do this and this. Oh my gosh, I kill four people at once. You do this, and they're flying, and they're all flying. Oh my gosh. This game was honestly quite refreshing after hours of going through horrible AI-generated games. Oh wait, I'm dead. No. That game was actually so fun. Honestly, this is gonna be like my first 5 stars. And yeah, even though it has an AI generated icon, 
I think the game itself is actually really good. Okay, so in total, out of 50 stars, 27 stars, it barely passed 50%. That is actually so close, oh my gosh. By the way, if you have Discord, then join my server to hang out with the community and participate in events. If not, then go watch this video as I'm sure you'll enjoy it.